The year was 1977, and the state of Oregon was loaded with basketball talent. High school star Danny Ainge grew up admiring the champion Trailblazers. Ainge was drafted by Boston and helped the Celtics win two NBA titles during the mid-80s. We won and had a great deal of success, but I look back at uh, the teammates that I had in Boston, uh, the Cedric Maxwells and Larry and Kevin, Robert, DJ and Wedman and Walt, and, you know, right on down the line. I got dreams, dreams to we won championships together. We had a lot of fun together. We did a lot of things together as teammates Danny and I did, and uh, I miss them. Sacramento in 1989 and spent a year with the Kings. His old teammates barely gave him an inch on the court. Ainge was traded in August of 1990 to Portland and made immediate contributions. Inbound. Get it to Ainge. Ainge over the timeline. Let's it fly to the good of the goal. I do everything pretty well, well, but I don't do anything great. I've always said that I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. You know, from the day I got here, Terry and Clyde and Buck and, and Duck, you know, they said that how much they needed me and, uh, and felt that I'd be a big asset to this team. He's my type of player. He's a feisty player. He plays hard. Uh, he's one of those type of players that you want to play on your team versus playing against. Well, he's just an excitable boy. Known for his past on court outbursts, Ainge has seemingly mellowed enjoying his new team with an eye to facing old friends. I get emotional every time I play Boston. I guess I compare it to playing your older brother when I was a kid growing up in the backyard. You know, I mean, you just want to beat him so bad, and yet you love him. Danny Ainge's memories are with the Celtics, but his dreams are with the Trailblazers. Could this matchup be one man's view of this year's finals? Portland can That's what's fun is having opportunities to make big plays and and to win big games and and the bigger the game the more fun it is to play and uh, i can't think of any bigger games than playing boston